Chinese theatre production is. If you get the chance to see it, please do, because it is amazing. It is kind of like about a haunted house. Um, it's on tour from like the West End in London, but it was genuinely like the best, the best production I've ever seen. It was amazing. We then went back to Waterstones, obviously, to have a, another look around the books, because me and my mum are really into books. These are a few of the books that I picked up and was interested in. I love, love, love shopping with my mum, book shopping with my mum. And we got some cute little matching bookmarks as well. Little fairies. Oh, and then on the way home I saw this poster. This is the production that we saw. Definitely have to go see it. Got home and they were all playing in the garden. In their pyjamas. It was nice because obviously like this was the evening time. It was nearly bedtime. So Jake had like obviously given them tea. Got them ready for bed. And it was nice to just have like a little break from being like the full main carer because obviously Jake usually works full time so it was nice to have everything already pretty much done um, for me well for them so yeah playing in the garden before bedtime getting some energy out of them it is a Saturday night so on a Saturday we are more chilled out and we let them like you know go on their iPads and stuff in bed play games watch something um which we don't do on any of the other days i then got ready for bed i had another shower because i had been out all day while jay kind of just sorted the kids out got them settled um it was nice it was honestly nice i'm very grateful that i got to have a more relaxed day of things taking what little makeup I had on off and then I would have jumped in the shower again it's light outside obviously but it is getting later it's probably like 8 o'clock by now I've got it in my hair as you can see so I've showered put on some pyjamas putting on my hand cream and Vaseline ready to relax for the evening I think must have come in and seen me so we're just having a little chit chat got my glasses back on by now thank god so yeah this is me in my pyjamas ready for bed ready to relax I love having like fresh pyjamas on best feeling ever and then saying like goodnight to the kids well off to see what they're up to have a little chat with them and catch up about the day they're going to be in bed now, just chilling out, which is a nice little break for them as well. I think we sometimes forget, like, our kids need, also need a little break. So, just seeing what they're up to. Tommy is loving this, like, building down game at the moment, and I love doing it with him, to be honest. Um, so just, yeah, getting the kids settled in bed. And then I am lighting some candles, getting the house cosy for me and Jake to just relax. Um, I love a fire hazard. I light millions of candles all over my house. And then we decided to watch The Black Phone, which is like a horror film that we haven't seen. We watched about half of it. And then I decided to go to bed because I was so tired. And I read some of the, my book, which I like to do every night. Reading Dude We Stood Grounds at the moment. Then we, this was the next day, so I woke up again, woke up and the kids woke me up because it was the weekend. Alice wanted some porridge for breakfast, so I made her some, some porridge, she's like Goldilocks. Again, nothing really planned for today, well this day, so it's nice to just have a weekend where we're not rushing and we can take it like minute by minute.
juice that is the washing that I have to put away I was like hyping myself up to do it Alice also wanted to help tidy so I gave her some little tasks to do to help out bless her she loves getting involved she can probably tell so she tidied some of her toys away we also listened to a frozen story on her yoto box her yoto box I highly recommend if you have kids and she sat and looked through some of her books this is the Alice in Wonderland pop up book she is named after Alice if you didn't already know so it was cute she loves Peppa Pig as well she also helped to do some of the hoovering which was cute then bathed them and oh I forgot to eat this well I didn't eat this at Watson's yesterday so I was buzzing when I remembered I had it and then we I got a shower and I like, got ready and everything and this was a no makeup day very cozy like chill clothes comfy clothes um I'm gonna put some glasses on remember to have my glasses on <laughs> losing my brain cells and um, we decided that we were just gonna go out on a little walk get out of the house and get some fresh air it's quite warm in the UK at the moment so instead of being like cooped up inside all day we decided to go on a little explore which is always nice to do putting some moisturizer on and I think I was reading a text then <laughs> but yeah by this time the kids had like were dressed been bathed and dressed and we were off obviously with Jake with the day off going on a little walk around the corner to our local park so we went and bless her Tommy you'll see in a minute this climbing frame and Tommy pretty much fell off the climbing frame straight away and really hurt his arm so me and Tommy just kind of sat and had a cuddle the entire time of the park after that because he was pretty upset about it bless his soul but he's so brave we then went on one of our nice little walks into this pond where there's lots of frogs I like to get out in nature I like to get the kids out in nature as much as possible this is actually like a cemetery but it's so beautiful full of flowers full of trees full of like animals so and then Jake cooked the kids their tea obviously we had had, he had, had like lunch and stuff earlier I didn't record but he just made them homemade fish and chips and then we chilled out until it was time to get ready for bed so we like played games and watched some things I read my book for a bit longer I always think if I read my books the kids will want to read then I need to get some milk Alice came with me in her pajamas a little onesie with her little monster slippers on which is hilarious she had her own little miniature milk um, and then they had some supper just some cereal for supper cuties need a little full belly before bed then I was like overstimulated by this point so Jake did bedtime whilst I cooked we got hello fresh box but it arrived super late so cooked for us we had lemon prawn and linguine which was a delicious and then the kids listened to a little bedtime story on their yo-yo box this was Claude in London they loved listening to that they were asleep by that point that was me like taking it out then me and Jake re like watched the rest of the black phone read a little bit and then I got into bed so yeah that was a weekend very chill that weekend with us maybe I should do one where like we've got loads of 